Um, what advice, doctors, are you giving to the federal government about vaccine mandates when it comes to air and rail travel and when it comes to federal workplaces? I think our, our role is simply to provide the scientific information about the effectiveness of vaccines, for example. And uh, so it is up to um, the employer and treasury board to make those decisions. So I think that's the advice for, from our perspective is, is a technical one. Um, so I know that uh, those policies are under evaluation or review. Um, including, um, for example, the, the federal mandates for the federal workers. And so I think um, you, know, you should certainly follow up um, with, with Treasury Board. And so what is the science telling you? Because I think most Canadians can relate to knowing someone who's been triple vaxxed and they've gotten COVID. Um, that's anecdotal, of course, <laughs> that's not a scientific analysis, but tell us, maybe if you, if you can't tell us what your recommendation is, what does the science tell you about vaccine mandates at this point and how useful they are? Yes, I think um, as everyone appreciates, the knowledge about vaccinations evolve over time. And I think with what's been the game changer, I think is the Omicron variant which is a vaccine escape variant to a certain extent. The good news, of course, as everybody appreciate, is that the vaccine after two doses is really pretty good at protecting against severe outcomes. And after a uh, third dose or an additional dose, uh, that protection against severe outcome is augmented. What is uh, really being looked at is the impact of the vaccination against transmission and infection and, and, the, and also transmission. What we know is that with the Omicron virus, having two doses, particularly after a short period of time, the protection against infection and potentially further transmission is, is goes really low. And you would then need the third dose to provide some augmentation of the protection against transmission and infection. And that also diminishes over time. So all of that should be taken into account as the uh, employer or the federal government uh, looks at the policies going forwards. At the same time, you know, I think on things like transportation, et cetera, any layers of protection to provide a uh, to protect the traveling public um, and to protect each other, I think is always a good idea, whether they are mandated or not. And so I think that's from a public health perspective, we're recommending what I would call vaccine plus other layers for now, because we're in a period of uncertainty where um, you know, the, the virus is still undergoing evolution. So getting up to date with vaccines plus wearing a mask is still a really good idea. Just, just do that for now, especially if you're at high risk. And so I think within the con construct of say a transport corridor or uh, a workplace, um, those are the sort of things that uh, people need to bear in mind as they make those policies.